the top five most surprising teams in college football. Let's go. Okay, so I don't really know what the title of this video. This is just five small schools that went undefeated. If there had been a playoff, they should have been in it. Coming in at number five, 2006 Boise State Broncos. Now, this team was the team with the famous Statue of Liberty play against Oklahoma. The walk-off touchdown from Ian Johnson. This was the start of really Chris Peterson's success. And I think this was kind of what one of the first like really good Boise State teams throughout the decade, two decades. Boise State has been a very good non-Power 5 team. Number four is the 2017 UCF Knights. They, they proclaimed themselves national champions. They didn't get to get in the playoff even though they were undefeated. This was during, you know, the 14 playoff 2017. But they went on to play Auburn, dominated in their conference championship they beat a very good Memphis team in a thriller. If there was at least an eight-team playoff, they would have made it, and it would have been cool to see the damage that they could have done. Either way, they won in the Peach Bowl versus Auburn, and they proclaimed themselves national champions that year. We got the 2004 Utah Utes. Uh, this team went undefeated. I believe they were in the Mountain West uh, Conference back then, and they had guys like Alex Smith leading the offense and Eric Weddle leading the defense big time nfl guys that went on to to have great careers in the nfl and then you got this was back when urban meyer was coaching and this was one of his first very successful teams and this was one of like this season was a big launching off point for him to go on and get big jobs like florida and ohio state here is the video 2004 dream season dvd i don't know we're big fans of the utah utes in this family so yeah, this is a big year they made it to the fiesta bowl they went undefeated beat pittsburgh number two it's gonna be a very recent one they were in the thumbnail it's the 2021 cincinnati bearcats the very first team to make it into the four team playoff and really have a shot at the national championship they played alabama they fought them hard but lost i think this was a very successful season i think this is probably the only team that didn't go undefeated but this was the only team that did make it into the playoff and get a chance for the national title the defense was led by sauce gardner you know we see him doing really good in the nfl right now the offense led by desmond ritter and they they kind of started off the season with a big signature win against notre dame luke fickle has had huge success with the cincinnati bearcats now he's moving on to Wisconsin, trying to get that program back in shape. Number one is the 2008 Utah Utes. The Utah Utes on here twice. This was one of the last few years that they were still in the Mountain West Conference. This time they were led by Kyle Winningham, who is still there at Utah all the way back in 2008. But this was his big season. Launched the Utes into success and really got national attention being like, hmm. Maybe they should be in a Power 5 conference. They beat Michigan in Ann Arbor. They beat number 11 TCU. They beat their rival BYU, who were number 16. And they finished it off with a Sugar Bowl win against number 4 Alabama. Huge upset. The definition of, you know, that kind of Cinderella story for a smaller school beating Alabama of all schools. The biggest of the big. <laughs> And actually, the next year, I get for Alabama, the next year they went on to win Nick Saban's first national championship at Alabama. That should tell you how good this Utah Ute team was in 2008. Make sure to go to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to your podcast. Make sure to go subscribe to the College Football Weekly Podcast. Probably going to be coming out with a new podcast episode for the NFL offseason. It's been a wild one, so stay tuned for that. You know, stay tuned for the edits. I'm back on the grind. Peace.